हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सेल्फ प्यूरिफिकेशन व्हाट इज सेल्फ प्यूरिफिकेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस प्रोसेस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द डिस्पोजल मेथड्स ऑफ सीवेज सो नेचुरल मेथड इज वन ऑफ देम सो इन नेचुरल मेथड ऑफ सीवेज डिस्पोजल so as we uh, seen earlier that there are different factors which depending upon the natural uh, purification of stream or water body so what are that factors so we already seen that there is a capacity of that water bodies or the dissolved ox already content of dissolved oxygen is that in that natural water body so these are some parameters so on the basis of these parameters we are deciding the source of disposal of sewage so uh, the selection of source of disposal of sewage is very important for the disposal of sewage so sometimes we are untreated sewage is also directly discharged into this water body so depending on its self purification capacity so let's we see what is self purification capacity or what is self purification of, of natural bodies water bodies so what is self purification the self purification of natural water system is a complex process that often involves physical chemical and biological processes working simultaneously the amount of dissolved oxygen in water is one of the most commonly used indicator of river health as dissolved oxygen drops below 4 to 5 mg per liter the forms of life that can survive begin to be reduced a minimum of about 2 mg per liter of dissolved oxygen therefore is required to maintain the higher life forms so a number of factors affects the amount of dissolved oxygen available in river so what are that factors let's we see so first is dilution due to dilution of river or any water body the concentration of organic matter is reduced and the potential nuisance of sewage is also reduced when sufficient dilution water is available in the receiving water body the dissolved oxygen level in the receiving stream may not reach to zero due to availability of sufficient dissolved oxygen initially in the river water next factor is dispersion due to currents when strong water current is available the discharged waste water will be thoroughly mixed with stream water preventing deposition of solids so when currents are present in river water then the depositor solids will not get settled at the bottom and also they are continuous in the process of aeration in a small current the solid matter from the waste water will get deposited at the bed following the decomposition and reduction in dissolved oxygen next important parameter is temperature the quantity of dissolved oxygen available in stream water is more in cold temperature than in hot temperature because in summer rising temperature reduces the solubility of oxygen at low temperature the activities of bacteria is low down and hence the rate of decomposition will be also slow and dissolved oxygen will be more because of increased solubility of oxygen in water and the next important parameter is sunlight so the algae produces oxygen in presence of sunlight due to photosynthesis therefore sunlight helps in purification of stream by adding oxygen through the photosynthesis process next factor is rate of oxidation due to oxidation of organic matter discharge in the river the dissolved oxygen depletion occurs this rate is faster at higher temperature and lower at lower temperature and next is reduction the reduction occurs in the stream due to hydrolysis of organic matter biologically or chemically so these are the factors which are affecting the 
सेल्फ प्यूरिफिकेशन और नेचुरल प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ स्ट्रीम और वॉटर बॉडीज द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज जोन्स ऑफ पोल्यूशन इन द स्ट्रीम सो देर आर डिफरेंट जोन्स एंड वन बाय वन द वॉटर द सीवेज गेट क्लैरिफाइड बाय पासिंग थ्रू दिस जोन्स सो फर्स्ट जोन इज जोन ऑफ डिग्रेडेशन सो इनिशियली एट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सीवेज डिस्पोजल दिस जोन इज सिचुएटेड जस्ट बिलो द आउटफॉल सीवर वेन द डिस्चार्जिंग इट्स कंटेंट्स इन टू द स्ट्रीम सो एट द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्पोजल ऑफ सीवेज दैट जोन विल स्टार्ट जोन ऑफ डिग्रेडेशन देन सेकेंड जोन इज जोन ऑफ एक्टिव डिकम्पोजिशन सो इट इज सिचुएटेड जस्ट आफ्टर द डिग्रेडेशन जोन and marked by heavy pollution so the continuous decomposition is carried out in these zones by the presence of organic matters and by the action of uh, microbial activities or bacteria then third zone is the zone of recovery so after all the decomposition process is done then the next type is next zone is zone of recovery so the process of recovery starts from its degraded condition to former condition and last zone is the zone of clearer water so the natural condition of the stream is restored so in that zone the water will get naturally purified and this represents the pollution is over all the to complete the stage of decomposition of organic matters Thank you